Okay, I'm just saying, if they're going to have a sauce, then put something in it besides chicken broth and flour. Okay, well, it's not a reduction the way that you do it. The way you cook. You can make love, I'd marry you. Uh oh. I mentioned marriage and suddenly we have to talk. I didn't want to spoil our supper. You'd rather spoil the walk home. Well, it's cheaper. Uh, I just found out I have to go to Boston to get a deposition, so I might not be back until Saturday. Oh, so I'll have to order in. Yeah, the kids this weekend. Oh, so. Jesus. It's just, I thought it was her weekend. Do I ever see you alone? Anyway, I thought while well, I'm gone, maybe I'll hire her. For what? Just a babysitter. I mean, you're working. Well, I can take them to work with me. I can switch some things around. You don't need to. I don't expect you to handle them yourself. Can't handle them myself is what you mean. Can't. You don't trust me to be alone with them. I trust you. Of course I do. But... But... But what? But you're not good at this. Not yet. I'm sorry. I know how caring, responsible adults parent children. I'll bribe them, buy them a dog or something. Maybe a Doberman. Look, I know that they hate me. And what you are telling them is, good job, keep on hating her. Nobody's telling them to hate you. Really? Look into your ex-wife's eyes. It's complicated for Jackie. Okay, it's complicated for me. You don't have kids. You don't understand. Oh, I see. So it's just complicated for you and for Jackie. For me, it's just pretty simple because I just don't understand. No, you don't. And I'm not going to screw with my kids' heads right now. Okay, I don't need one more person in this family making me feel like a complete idiot. Your ex-wife is doing a bang-up job as it is, and I have to deal with it every Tuesday and Thursday and every other goddamn weekend, and I just... I don't understand how you were married to her for so goddamn long. I mean, Jesus, what did you see in her? I don't get it. I don't get it. She's a great mother.